children in this video we are going to arrange the elements of each and every row of a given double dimensional array in ascending order so before that we will see for a few more things like uh, first of all we have to define the matrix row wise class this is the name of the class and here we have to see matrix row wise here we have defined a matrix along with its row and column these are the variables which are needed and here this package is for scanner class so first of all this constructor part which will receive r and c and here row is r and column is c and here new this we have done and in the main method we will be receiving the values of row and column and here we have defined the scanner class enter the size of the matrix which is r is s is dot max i t and c is s is dot next int and then matrix row wise this is object matrix row wise are comma c and uh, after that we are going to just display the i'm going to just take one input function and here is to define a display function in display the matrix is i will be zero till it is less than row and i plus plus and for and to j will be zero till it is less than column j plus plus and then it is a of i j will be as a dot to next i So here, uh, in you in this input function, children, we will not be using scanner class. Rather than we will be using this random class. Uh, why I'm going to use this? Just because when the size of the double dimensional array is large, then in the, that case you need to input row into call number of values. So sometimes during while you are doing the practical this is irritating while you are just trying to form a logic of particular problem or you want to any algorithm so it uh, it is quite irritating so in that case what you will do here i have created one class which is random the object of the random class And in this random class, uh, here I have started the loop that will go from row to column, and here it is going from zero to less than column. J plus plus, and here a of i j is equals to o b j dot next i n t, and here I am just passing row into column. plus 1 so suppose the size of the array is uh, double dimensional array is 5 by 5 so the values which this function will receive or generate will be from 1 to 26 or in fact 1 to 25 suppose here if we are passing the value 100 here so it simply means the values from 0 to 99 will be acceptable here so I would like to show you here obj dot input and obj dot display. See this uh, ss dot next and t where I have done it is for display. So here it is 
it is uh, a of i j plus some spaces and then change of line. Now see suppose the size of the array is 4 by 4 and now you can see the values from 0 to 100. Any random value from 0 to 100 will be picked and will be filled within this double dimensional array of size 4 by 4. So this is how you need not to input the values within this double dimensional array. In some cases it is quite useful but when you want, when you need to input a value of a specific pattern then you cannot use this random class object. So here in this question I want to arrange the elements uh, of the matrix row by row in ascending order. So first of all I would like to make a function that will go void arrange and here I am passing only i and this function is a recursive function and this i is representing a particular row at a time suppose in each here if whenever if the value of i reaches row immediately return and if not then we have to sort and we need to pass one array here. So I am passing error of i comma 0 comma 0. After that, I will be calling this function incrementing the value of i by 1. So this is a recursive function which will traverse from 0 to up to the size of the double dimensional array which is actually the maximum row. So children here suppose the size of the if total number of rows in a given matrix are 5 it means the loop will go from 0 to 4 and then whenever it becomes 5 return statement will happen and control will move to the function call statement. Now after this I would like to define an, one more function which is for sorting so here i would be using uh, bubble sorting here so white sort and here this is what int a square bracket comma int i comma int j this is a recursive function this is another recursive function so children here this arr i is representing one row at a time when arr of when i is 0 then arr i means arr 0 means first row when i is 1 then arr 1 means second row when arr of when i is 2 then it is it means third row like that so now see here the recursive one so if i reaches a dot length if i reaches a dot length then it is return else if else if j reaches a dot length minus i minus 1 and return sort and here a comma i plus 1 comma 0 it simply means whenever j terminates then i gets incremented by 1 and again j starts from 0 so if it is not the case then we have to swap, we have to check for that. So here if a of j is more than a of j plus 1, then here I'm going to swap, which is a of j is this, a of j plus 1, and a of j plus 1 will be t. And then after that, here sort a comma j comma a comma i comma j plus 1 this is what the recursive call so the same function we have seen so many times so in previous videos we have seen this function which is for purple sorting and now i would like to 
see how it is working so before that i would like to call this function arrange passing passing what here i would like to pass in arrange i would like to pass zero because here initially zero is representing the uh, first uh, index of the first row and then i would like to call this function again now here see which is sort unexpected return okay here uh, one problem is here children here actually this function is uh, its return type is void so you cannot make it recursive with the with this return statement this return keyword will not appear it appears only when the return type of the function is not void so sort arr of i so what is this cannot find symbol this arr of i what is the okay so here it is arr i am just making this arr so so that there is no confusion here arr and everywhere arr so it is arr it's fine and here it's a which is fine and here again it is arr and then any other issue no let us see that so the size of the matrix is 4 by 4 and some random values we have picked so initially uh, you see that the first row which was 20 has come at this index number and then here likewise it is already it is 53 and 65 are swapped here and then 51 60 81 and 91 and then last row which is 20 31 61 and 92 so this is how we have uh, sorted each and every row so in this video you got to learn what is a random class and it is quite useful while we are implementing matrix and here this is the recursive function which is uh, representing each and every row and here arr of i means a particular row at a time arr 0 means first row arr 1 means second row arr 2 means third row arr 3 means fourth row like that so i hope you have enjoyed this video Thanks for watching.